This video will guide you through the procedure of running a Mercodia Insulin ELISA. The assay is designed as a simultaneous sandwich ELISA. Before you get started, please review the directions for use to become familiar with the specific kit instructions. Make sure you have all necessary equipment listed and in good working condition. In the ELISA box, you will find a 96 well-coated plate, calibrators, enzyme conjugate buffer, enzyme conjugate 11X, wash buffer 21X, substrate TMB, and stop solution. All reagents and samples must be brought to room temperature before use. First, prepare the enzyme conjugate 1X by adding the enzyme conjugate buffer directly into the enzyme conjugate 11X vial. Use the diluted enzyme conjugate within one day. Prepare the wash buffer according to the specifications in the directions for use and mix gently. Prepare the microplate wells to accommodate calibrators, Mercodia antigen controls, and samples in duplicate. Unused strips can be removed and stored in a sealed bag for two months. It is useful to have a worksheet to plan and record details about your run. Note the lot number for the kit and designate wells for the calibrators, controls, and samples. Now pipette 25 microliters each of calibrators, controls, and samples into the appropriate wells. Each calibrator, control, and sample should be run in duplicate for quality assessment. Once the first incubation starts, insulin in the calibrators, controls, and samples will bind to the monoclonal capture antibody that is bound to the ELISA plate wells. The calibrators are yellow and can be seen clearly in the wells. The samples and controls are colorless. Now add 100 microliters of enzyme conjugate 1X solution into each well and incubate on a plate shaker with orbital movement set to 700 to 900 RPMs for 60 minutes. The enzyme conjugate 1X solution contains the monoclonal detection antibody, which will bind to a second epitope on the antigen. After the 60-minute incubation, Wash the plate six times with 700 microliters of wash buffer per well using an automated plate washer with overflow function. Do not include a soaking step in the wash program. Alternatively, the plate can be washed manually using a squirt bottle or a multi-dispensing pipette. After the final wash, invert and tap the plate firmly against absorbent paper. Change the pipette tip and add 200 microliters of substrate TMB into each well and incubate on the bench for 15 minutes at room temperature. The substrate is converted by the enzyme to a chromogenic signal and the wells that undergo a reaction will turn blue. After the 15 minute incubation, add 50 microliters of stop solution into the wells. The solution will turn yellow. Place the plate on a shaker for five seconds to ensure sufficient mixing. Read the optical density at 450 nanometers and calculate the results. The absorbance values obtained can be used directly. No blank reduction is necessary. The calibrator curve is plotted using values for all calibrators except calibrator zero. The curve is necessary for determining control and sample concentrations, and thus calibrators must be included in every run.